Hello there everyone and welcome to a quick fire magic review. This is a review show where I take products that are worth $20 or less and give them a review in under five minutes. And on today's episode is Gary Freed's NFW by Penguin Magic. Let's roll the intro and get straight into the review. Perfect. So you want to learn more about NFW. In simple terms, what is NFW? It's a 4 for 4 transpo of 4 jokers into 4 aces in your and your spectator's hands. So you're going to have your hands like this, 2 jokers in your hand, 2 jokers in your spectator's hands. You tap the jokers or you snap your fingers and all the cards change into aces. It's a great simple trick similar to Aces by Richard Sanders. So that is the effect. Now, where do you buy this? How much does it cost? And what do you get? So this is available at Penguin Magic for $19.99. And what you get is this small plastic pouch. Inside you get all of the gimmicks that you need on red bicycle back. Small tidbit of information. You can make these gimmicks your own on your own deck. If you have your own brand of playing cards, if you're fancy like that, you can place it, you can do it on your own brand of playing cards. Or if you just have, if you like, for example, to use Phoenix cards or Tally Hose or Bees or whatever, you can easily make up the gimmick with those decks as well. It won't look as good as, you know, the specially made gimmicks that you get with your purchase, but they'll do the job nonetheless. So that's what you get physically and digitally. You get different videos because this is an older product. You get the old instructional video, which is covered by Rick Lax, and then you get a new instructional video by Nick Lucavo, which goes over the indie hands handling that I talked about, where you have two cards, two cards, and they switch. So that's essentially everything that you get with your $19.99 purchase on Penguin Magic. So what is the difficulty of NFW? The difficulty level is beginner. If you know how to do a pinky pull down, double, triple lift, you are good to go. Just learn the script or maybe just watch the trailer. Remember the script from the trailer and you'll be good to go the moment the cards come in the mail. Super, super easy to do beginner level and a great, super simple trick to do for your spectators. Now, what is the practicality of this? Is this practical? Yes, it's only a few cards. I carry around them personally inside of the plastic pouch. I place this inside of my wallet for the cards not to get damaged or wrinkled up or anything like that in my wallet. I just place it directly with the packaging and when I want, I just remove the cards from the packaging and perform the trick. If you don't want to do that, just remove the cards, place them in your wallet without the plastic and you'll be good to go or place them inside the cellophane of your card case and you will be good to go. So this is something that you can carry around with you at any time and perform it over and over and over again and get amazing reactions because it's super practical, super easy. So it's pretty much a win-win in practicality and difficulty level. And it's also a win in the performance, uh, where to perform it category, which is what we're going to talk to about right now. So where do you perform this? Anywhere that is close up. I wouldn't do this specifically in parlor or stage, but anywhere close up. So like restaurants, bars, clubs, weddings, cocktail parties, uh, table hopping, street performances, casual settings with friends, family. For example, if you want to do this at a festival, go ahead, do it at a festival if you want. Anywhere that you can get people close up and do this trick close up, it will work. The angles are great. There's not, there's pretty much no angle issues for the effect. Maybe where you hold your break or you do the pinky pull down, but even then it should be fine. So there's pretty much no angle issues can be done pretty much surrounded and it gets absolutely great reaction. So it's pretty much a win in every category. So let's talk about the positives and the negatives. We'll go with the negatives first. What are the negatives of NFW? There's only one and is that not all the cards are inspectable. Of course, the cards in your spectator's hands are fully inspectable and the cards in your hands are only semi-inspectable, which means that one of the two cards is gimmicked and cannot be handed out for examination. But let me tell you this, I've performed this quite a lot in the past two-ish weeks. And people are so amazed that the cards change in their hands and they're like touching the cards like, wow, they honestly do not care about the cards in your hands. I tell you this right now. They honestly do not care that the cards in your hand changed when the cards in their hand changed. They honestly do not care about that.
I tell you that they do not care. They just love that it changed inside of their hands and that's all that matters. And the fact they change in your hand as well is just an added bonus. So it's not that much of an issue, but it is something I do want to point out for people out there that are worried about stuff like that. Now, what are the positives? The positives are it's cheap. The tutorials are great. You get everything you need to perform straight out of the box. The gimmicks are adaptable. You can do this with any back design of your choice. You can make the gimmicks yourself. So once they run out, if you don't want to rebuy the trick, you can make the gimmick yourself at home with any brand or back design, anything you want directly at your own home. Another positive is super easy to carry around, gets great reactions, a lot of ways to perform it and a lot of places to perform it. And it also is super easy to do a lot of positives and a great product. So what is my verdict on NFW by Gary Freed? Should you pick this up? And the answer is pretty much self-explanatory. It is yes. Yes, next time you do a purchase on Penguin Magic, and if you liked my review and you like the product, I would definitely say add this to your cart. You will not be disappointed. For those that like a more numerical scale as to my reviews, I give this a 9.5 on 10. And that is pretty much all I have to say. Thank you so much for coming and stopping and watching my review. I really appreciate you. Leave a like, subscribe, leave me a comment. I answer to pretty much anyone. Thank you and see you in my next review. Bye-bye and have a great rest of the week.